that's the position, okay? Forget Jamaica and, and uh, Canary Islands, it's history. But as the years progress, the three countries, Dominican, Nicaragua, Honduras, as, those, as the years have come up to now, you've seen Nicaragua for the first time become the number one imported tobacco into the United States. It's now Nicaragua. It's just this year surpassed the Dominican Republic. Not actual cigars, but tobacco is used. Tobacco is used. Right. Cigars were still lagging behind the Dominican in overall exports, but the Dominican numbers have been steadily dropping year by year by year, where the Nicaraguan numbers have been increasing more dramatically than even the Dominican losses. Honduras has been relatively stable for the most part. But, but, but the, thing I, the thing I wanted to say is this, is that, so when, I, when, when we think about Nicaragua, most of you guys smoke a lot of Nicaraguan tobacco, Nicaraguan cigars. I'm sure you smoke Honduran tobacco, uh, Raices, Cubanas, and different things, Vilas on, and all this. But Nicaragua has had this incredible renaissance. The renaissance of, of modern premium cigar smoking, as the market has moved from a mild cigar to a medium body cigar, I think about 71% of sales made in the premium U.S. market is the medium body. As this movement has happened in terms of strength, and as this movement has happened in terms of Nicaragua, I'm very, we are very Nicaraguan centric because we know that Nicaragua challenges Cuba for the best tobacco in the world. But, so when I always talk about the Mecca, Nicaragua is the Mecca, right? Absolutely. But for a grower, Nicaragua is not the Mecca. For a grower, Ecuador. And this is the point I wanted to make, is that in this building here, you're going to see, of course, Nicaragua tobacco and stuff, but this is Ecuador central. And when you think about Ecuador, Ecuador tobacco, here in Nicaragua, when you go to tobacco in Esteli or in Jalapa, you get different percentages of wrapper. In Jalapa, you can get higher percentages of wrapper than in Esteli. But overall, even unless you're growing specifically for wrapper, even the wrapper that you're growing that's specifically for wrapper is not all wrapper. You're going to have more of it's going to be binder and filler still. In Ecuador, everything you grow is wrapper. So when you grow material, wrapper is the order of tobacco. Wrapper is where all the money is. Uh, just as a basic rule, you can think from a direct cost standpoint. You could think about a third of every cigar you make is your wrapper cost. A third is your binder and filler cost, and a third is your production cost. Okay. Or the Oliva Tobacco sales, Factory. Your indirect, your building and lawyers and employees and healthcare programs. Take all that out. From just from a direct, a direct cost rule of law, right? But from Ecuador, everything is wrapper. So it's the land of milk and money, okay? <laughs> and when you think about Ecuador, fundamentally, you think of, Steve and I were just talking about it, you think of Ecuador, Connecticut tobacco, which has replaced Connecticut, Connecticut. It's not as bitter, and it's more cost-effective to make it. You get a better yield, and the cost of producing it is cheap. That's always been ASP. ASP tobacco. So who, have everybody here heard of ASP? So everybody knows what we're talking about. ASP, while well, they, their focus is, they have 6,000 employees in Ecuador, so their focus is Connecticut shade grown in Ecuador. Oliva tobacco, where we are now, they historically have focused on Sumatra seed in Ecuador, which is what? Ashton BSG, that's a Sumatra seed grown in Ecuador. Contra Corojo, Sumatra seed grown in Ecuador. These are tobaccos that Oliva grows and ASP doesn't grow. But what's happened now is a leaf that's really starting to change the industry, a leaf that's becoming very relevant, is what you're seeing now, which is a Habano seed grown in Ecuador, right? Some of you guys, have, all of you have smoked my father's cigars, right? So my regular, my father line can either be a dark Ecuador Habano or a lighter Ecuador Habano, a lot of the declines. But it didn't start there. The real movement to Ecuador Habano really started with the seeds that were from Christian Aroa's father. And in Ecuador, the Ecuador Havana, really the first brand that really used it here in Nicaragua on real production was Kiki Burger. He used it on the Savinelli Limited Reserve. Then his kidneys gave out the whole thing and other people came in, Olivita came in, and they went heavy onto the Oliva, onto the Habano Ecuador. I think that a great majority, and Gilberto will be with us tonight for dinner, you can ask him which of his cigars are wrapped with Ecuador Habano, you're going to see it's prevalent, it's a lot, most, I mean a tremendous, tremendous amount. It's a very special tobacco, and each company, you're going to see one brand after the next coming out at this point with this Ecuador Habano tobacco, because it's a very good tobacco, it provides a very good yield, and it has a very Cuban-esque look to it. You either get a Cohiba color, or we call it Cohiba, or a Matapuca color to it. So it's a very Cuban color to the tobacco. It has some spice to it, some pepper to it, depending on which priming it is and how it's been cured. And now you see a number of different farmers where, you know, Connecticut ASP used to be KSP. Sumatra was always, um, uh, was always Oliva. 
but both of them grow. It's Habano, Ecuador. And now there's other people starting to grow it as well. So that's something to keep, you know, you're in a, you, it's something to keep an eye on. As you move to this year's, I guarantee you, at this year's RT, uh, IPCPR, I bet you 50%. Well, look, two of the new brands. I mean, the Cuenque Blanco is using the Ecuador Habano, and the, the wrapper that Willie's been blending around has been Ecuador Habano. But, but I'm saying it, it's, it's, a, it's a trend now that's going to go on for a good couple For a very long time. But like you were saying... We're going to move along because we have uh, one out to...